Just a morning message from me, your ideological leader. First of all, I want to thank everyone who has made morning messages because this is so important. Keeping our community connected with each other, a message each morning, revolutionary hope and optimism. This is what our community is all about and we are doing great. Now, my message this morning uh, is to encourage people as I am so thankful to our member Tyler McConnell out in Missouri for doing to learn about the work of Wallace D. Waddles. Wallace D. Waddles, he was a socialist. He was a good friend of Eugene Debs. He lived in the early 1900s, but he wrote The Science of Getting Rich, The Science of Being Great. Uh, he wrote two books about the life of Jesus and how Jesus was a socialist. Uh, it, it, his work is so amazing because it is the same thing that I've always been pushing so hard, pro-growth socialism. The idea that there is no limit to growth and that we should have a mindset based on vast abundance. We should want the world to reach a state of perfection. We would, should want to expand. We shouldn't fall into the trap of a competitive mind. Every time I listen to the science of being great, the science of getting rich by Wallace Waddles, uh, it, it helps me so much. I have listened to the audio recording of, of these books uh, by Wallace Waddles so many times. They're like background noise because it's exactly what I need to hear. Uh, you know, when I deal with all the negativity that, that comes at us, all the efforts to try and throw us off of the revolutionary road and throw us away from our optimistic message, I get back to Wallace Waddles and I just listen to those books over and over again because it's exactly what I need to hear. Human creativity is a beautiful thing, and it's the essence of what Karl Marx was talking about with explaining how we reach a higher mode of production. Um, it, is, it is the drive of human beings to reach a higher plane and a higher form of existence that has defined humanity itself as a species that doesn't just interact with its environment, but forces the environment to serve him, as Frederick Engels wrote about uh, it is the drive of human beings to eradicate poverty, to eradicate scarcity, to create a society of more abundance, to increase our population, to increase our life expectancy. That is the driving force of history. It is our godlike creative power. The fact that we have the, the ability to create, to change, to interact with our environment and expand and adjust. Humans' creative power, it really just defines us. And uh, that's really, really beautiful. And Wallace Waddles was a socialist, um, uh, but he had this idealist understanding about how we should be always thinking about moving ahead and creating greater abundance. We shouldn't fall into the trap of, of competitiveness uh, or the trap of, of resentment and jealousy, and that we would eventually get to a society with so much wealth and abundance that there was no need even for a state or for hierarchies. Um, I mean, it, Wallace Waddles, articulated the worldview that I I got from Marx uh, and got from Marxism, etc. Uh, he articulated it uh, very, very well, uh, you know, and I, I, Marx was a hard materialist, Wallace Waddles was an idealist, but yet he gave expression to that creative power uh, that was celebrated by Lyndon LaRouche and others that's now celebrated in China, as they say, poverty is not socialism, but to be rich is glorious. What we're trying to do with the Center for Political Innovation, our Do You Believe in Growth pamphlet, our turn toward calling ourselves innovationists so the American people can hear us and don't think that we celebrate poverty and want violence and destruction. Everything that we're doing, Wallace Waddles gave great expression to. Uh, so I'm really, really inspired by Wallace Waddles' works and I hope that we can share them with people as we share our own unique message.